Hey guys and welcome back. So this week we decided to do a little follow-up video to uh, a video we done maybe a couple of weeks ago when we tested Pro V1 X, uh, sorry Pro V1 yes. versus some other sort of budget golf balls out right. in the market. The ones that are becoming more popular at this point. And, and we saw it was a fascinating test in, in that there really wasn't that much difference in performance. No. Um, you know, obviously premium pricing, um, you know, is mm. the biggest difference, but you know, in terms of actual performance on distance and spin and that type of thing, you, you never found there was really too much distance and we never saw too much on the quad. Not a whole lot, subtle differences, and mm -hmm. I think we still can understand why people prefer Pro V1, but yep. um, definitely validated why these companies seem to be uh, having some success. For sure. Saving some money and you're getting a ball that for most people, it'll be hard to tell the difference in a I lot know. of cases. That's, that's really right. Would. When we saw that at times, you know, the human variable was was the biggest factor between the performance. And, definitely. you know, if you guys, you know, out there can, can save a few bucks, then, mm. you know, if you happen to be going through a few golf balls, yep. uh, get a fitting. Uh, but no, <laughs> <laughs> the, True. We probably just need to obviously look at the economy of uh, you know just which golf ball makes more sense if you're going through you know a lot of golf balls in the season. Absolutely. So today we wanted to to look a little more closely at that premium golf ball that we used. We used Pro V1, uh, the standard Pro standard V1 in Pro the V1. last test. Today we want to we want to follow up on on that and we want to test Pro V1 and Pro V1 X. Yep because we saw a lot of comments uh, following that video from, from you guys, Tons. and there was some confusion, I think, as to how the 2018 range of Pro V1 and Pro V1X compares to previous models. Correct, yeah, so we got a bunch of people basically thinking that they've flipped now, yeah. and that Pro V1X is the highest Higher spinning, spin, and yep. Pro V1 is the lower spinning one. Right, exactly. Not true. Not true, Okay. Gotcha. So, you know, a, a ton of people think that that's the mm -hmm. case, and. You know, sure that, that I think the marketing can kind of maybe lead you towards thinking about that, the way the, the website's set up, the way they've done the comparison of Pro V1 X is, does this and Pro V1 does mm. that. It, it looks like that may be the case. Yep. Here's the thing, guys. The main thing that has changed is they've designed the Pro V1 to go further. Yes. Right. That was the one thing, the feedback from the PGA Tour players where they liked the higher spin that they could get from Pro V1, mm. but they didn't really like the sacrifice of losing, uh, you know, four or five yards, few uh, yards over yeah. the Pro V1 uh, X. On the PGA Tour, uh, the, the split of play or, or balls in play has be, always been about 70% Pro V1 X yep. to 30% Pro V1. Which I find surprising. I thought that more guys played the Pro V mm -hmm. and then you had your, your really fast swing speed players playing the X. Yep. But it's kind of the distance, it's gotta be the distance. Guys wanna pick up that extra bit from the lower spin off the tee. Well, there's a few things. Um, the, the Pro V1 X by nature of still being a high spin golf ball. I mean, we're, yeah. you know, it's, it's still, you're pretty, there, there's a few, few hundred yard, uh, RPMs of difference. It's not, it's not a massive amount. No. The biggest thing is it actually feels a bit firmer yep. and it launches a little higher. Right. So when you are able to launch it a bit higher but still keep maintaining the spin, mm. what you're able to get is a steeper angle of descent which gives you a little bit more stopping power. Okay. Okay, so yep. when, when you kind of increase the peak uh, of, of the apex of that ball flight, and you maintain pretty similar spin, it just means you're gonna control it more when it hits the green. Interesting. So that has uh, obviously mm. been a preference uh, of the tour players combined with the, the, the kind of uh, optimal distance off the tee as well. Yeah, not something that, that I don't think many people would be aware of, that no. extra, extra launch angle yeah. from that ball. That's it, yeah, well that's, that's the one thing with, with X, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely launches in through a higher window. So, um, so yeah, so we, we kind of wanted to test that today, see what sure. we find. Uh, see how, how you know close those two golf balls are and today we're going to test with a driver a six iron and a wedge with both balls yeah and quickly back to that website graphic yes the yeah. it, them saying that this pro v1x is higher mm -hmm. it's relative to 2017 yeah. it's not relative to the pro v1 that's right so it's not a higher spinning ball it's just higher spinning than it used to be that's right right yeah exactly gotcha. so uh, you know that it's just the, the kind of basic you know, story from Titleist, this is our version of it, this is from Titleist, is the Pro V1 has, X hasn't really changed. Right. It's not changed too much at all. It's, uh, it's in a, you know, what they would call a new aerodynamics package. It has a slightly different cover, you know, 328 dimples. Okay. Um, so, you know, obviously the amount of dimples plays a part in the aerodynamics of it. Mm. Pro V1 has 352, um, so it has a few more, so it's, 
it's designed to spin, you know, uh, what's in the new version a little bit less. Right. So um, let's let's test it and let's see what we yeah, find and for uh, sure. you know we'll we'll kind of draw our own conclusions as to how close or how far away they are. But important to say, what you just brought up, that's literally from a title of staff members. Yeah. M many of their tech guys will say that's the intention, and yeah. maybe just the communication has been a little off. Um, which, right. you know, in the end, you, it's tough because people don't do this kind of mm -hmm. testing at home. So yeah. if you tell them, you know, Pro V1X is higher spinning mm -hmm. this year, they're going to think that the two have flipped. It just goes back to making or help, or hopefully we are helping people make better choices. For sure. So when someone goes out and buys a dozen golf balls, you know, that are not cheap, they are making it for the right reasons. They're mm -hmm. not picking up a, a, you know, a Pro V1 thinking it is now a low, the, the lower spinning golf ball of the two. Yes. Um, you know, actual fact, that's the AVX. Um, no, for sure, you know, which, so which, which we'll, is we'll coming. Into. <laughs> yeah. um, so we've not done that test today, but it is coming, the AVX, you know, being a premium mm. golf ball now uh, with the urethane cover, with the lower spin, lower launch, but a softer feel. Yes. Which is going to benefit a lot of golfers. So if you're that golfer who kind of hits the moon ball and, and kind of have always struggled with launching it uh, a little flatter, you know, you want to try AVX in that conversation, it's not, it's not kind of a, a ball that's going to go in there with uh, velocity or, or too soft yeah, or anything it's like those. that. It's a premium golf ball, it's got yeah. premium materials, it just has a different design, designed to lower, uh, lower spin, lower launch, but higher, uh, softer feel. Next couple of weeks we're going to make that video. We've actually, yeah, we'll get some uh, golf balls on their way to us right now. Uh, Titleist uh, just reached out and said they're going to send us some for testing. That's great. Um, so we want to do our own independent test like we like to and uh, get that up on the channel as quickly as we can. And speaking of that, we're going to do our testing right now and Let's show you guys the shots. results. Yeah. Excellent, cool. <laughs> Okay, Matt, great job. Um, so we just tested um, driver six iron and wedge yes. uh, with both golf balls. So uh, we hit a bunch of shots there. Let's start with the driver. Yeah. Let's, let's look at that first and, uh, and see what we uh, were able to pull from that. So um, in terms of distance, mm -hmm. it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. 290 on the carry, 311 total. Uh, ball speed wise, there was a, a, a hair of a, a gain on, on Pro V1X. Nothing that you can say, oh, that ball's quicker than no, the other. That would be me. That, that, that's probably the, the, you know, and that's, when you've got half a mile now, you can't, you can't pick no. it apart and say that that's, no. that's, that's the, the one ball versus the other. It's just, it's just the, the strike at the time. Yep. Um, launch angle. Interestingly enough, the launch angle was uh, a, a shade higher, but nothing. Decimal points. More to say that they're basically the same. Mm -hmm. And also the spin was slightly higher on the Pro V1. So we did see a bit more spin. A little bit, we saw about 200 RPMs more. And if you look at those kind of two, uh, two golf balls in terms of their apex, you can, you can definitely see there's a little separation uh, in the apex. Now, you could also probably attribute that to, you were able to draw the, the Pro V1X, or you hit more of a draw with the X than the Pro yeah. V1. So, yeah. so maybe that height difference sure. is face angle as well. Moral of the story, guys, they performed super similar. Very similar. Right. Yeah. I had a hard time distinguishing, uh, you know, a really good shot with the mm -hmm. Pro V versus the Pro V1X. The ball flight looked almost identical. So yeah. maybe in the wind, you may get a little 
uh, less distance out of the Pro V1 into yeah. the wind off a driver, but yeah. 200 RPMs you'd say is not a ton. And did you feel much of a difference? I didn't feel any difference, okay. personally. It felt, it felt I was paying similar. attention as much as I could. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe a little firmer off the wedge, which we'll get mm. to. Interesting. Off the driver, um, again, I always tell you this, but I'm probably not the best one to ask in yeah, terms yeah. of like fine-tuning feel. No, that's okay. I think they were similar enough that it shouldn't put anyone off. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't offend you in any way in terms of feel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let's pop over to the six iron. Um, now, here's, here's the thing. Now we're seeing a little bit of a trend in ball speed. Mm. We were a little quicker again with Pro V1X. Yes, definitely. So, you know, for whatever reason, we, we are seeing that as, as, a, as a common sort of uh, theme. Launch angle, pretty similar. Yep. Um, spin rate, a hair higher in Pro V1, but again, probably, probably just one shot to another. Yep, um, very close. Yeah, very, very close, and, and you hit Pro V1X marginally further. Just a couple more yards of carry. Just a little yep. bit more, okay? Not much of a difference again, No, though. no. Quite, quite similar. Very similar. And this is, uh, we should say right away, this is what Titleist is trying to achieve. They were trying to make right. them more similar um, on the driver for sure. Yeah. And probably the long to mid irons, a little closer. That's and right. now when we get to the wedge, now mm -hmm. we're going to be talking some actual difference. Well, I think when it comes to, uh, yeah, you're exactly right. Making the balls perform very similar, it actually becomes a bit more of a, of a feel play. Right. Uh, so, you know, if you like a softer feel, maybe if you're of the age group that once upon a time played a, a wound golf ball or a blatter right. covered golf ball. Yeah, you're familiar with that feel. Yeah, yeah, you're familiar with that sort of uh, feel around the greens. Mm. Or if, if you're sort of, you know, of our sort of age group and, and uh, that type of thing, we're, we're more familiar with the, the solid core golf ball. Yes. You know, and, and I remember that was the very first golf ball I played was, was a solid core. You know, and I you know, played golf with people who played wound golf balls, Titleist Professional at the time, okay. uh, with the liquid core and all that sort of stuff. You know, we, we mm. can go back and dig in, pull some of those. It'd be interesting to, to do a test of today's golf that would ball be really versus cool. some of those older ones. But, um, yeah, we, um, we saw a bit of a difference in the flight with the wedges. Yeah, so it was lower launch and higher spin with the Pro-V. Yep. And again, a little higher launch and that's very slightly less spin. Pretty close, I mean, within 100 or two RPMs. Right. I would say um, maybe with a partial mm -hmm. wedge shot, you might see yeah. a bit more of a disparity, but a little lower launch, a little more spin, exactly what you'd expect mm -hmm. and exactly the way it's been for, what, 10 years? It's that's always it. been like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, definitely, a that's the biggest probably difference there in terms of launch um, is, is being with the wedges. Yeah. And I think that comes to the point, this guys, do your own testing and, and kind of see what you see. Sure, and yeah. uh, obviously, if you've access to TrackMan or, or Quad, or you know, you've obviously if you can get out on the course and do a little bit of work, you know, I think you've got to find this stuff uh, out for yourself. Moral of the story is the golf balls are both exceptional. Yep. They both perform great. Um, there's not that much of a difference with the longer clubs, and maybe a bit bigger of a difference with the shorter clubs. Agreed. Um, but that was the that was the whole objective. They have to, not flipped. <laughs> no, they, they no they've they've they you know we're not seeing you know the Pro V1 uh, you know spin way lower and, no. and X spin way higher. We we are absolutely not seeing that. We're seeing if anything you know the yeah. the, the opposite. It's kind of the same um, story it's been with them, but yeah. just a little tighter when it comes to the driver and exactly. the long irons. Yeah. yeah. So I mean the the holy grail of creating a golf ball is to create one that is fast that launches pretty high and it spins pretty low. Yeah. And and performs, you know, on the off the wedges with higher spin and, and, and good fuel. You know, that's that's how you want the golf ball to perform. And that's and so that Pro V one now, I, I would say it's just it's a better ball this It's year. a better version of itself. Exactly. And the right. X is is still a very good ball, but it's just more similar to mm -hmm. the way it has been. And it's still the most used golf ball on the tour. Which is crazy. Still the Pro yeah. V1 X, even though the changes to the Pro V1 have are what they are. Yeah. It's still 55% to 45% in favor of that. So they have they have made a difference in the um, uh, share, I guess, yeah. obviously, because you said it was 70-30 in the past. That's but right. They've cut into that, so you are, they're seeing a bit of a shift of the tour guys going uh, towards the Pro V1, mm. but still more X's in play. Maybe 2019 we do this video again. It might be close. Might, might, maybe then it will be uh, a little more equal. We shall see. Yeah. Guys, I hope this has cleared something uh, up for you uh, with regards to the golf ball and, and kind of, you know, making it easier for you to make a, a better uh, yeah. decision when you're choosing your own ball. Um, I think sometimes marketing can, uh, can sometimes get in the way of, of these things, but... Um, a little broken telephone as sometimes, well. Once sometimes, Once you hear it from yeah. one person and then it kind of becomes... I heard it around my club, people saying, oh, yeah, the X is now the, yeah. is now the higher spinning one. I kind of thought, that doesn't sound yeah, right, yeah. but... No. 
That's why we test. That's why we do stuff. That's, why we do it. That's what we're doing Excellent. here. Excellent. Okay, so AVX testing to come. Yes. Um, we're going to get that in the next, probably the next week or so, we'll, we'll get uh, some of those in our hands and uh, we'll get a follow-up video and, and probably add that into the mix here and we can start to show if there's a lower launch, a lower mm. spin, um, and, and obviously we can talk to the feel of that as well. So it should be an interesting one. Guys, thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you again soon.